Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Uh, I wasn't even going to do a um, an update until at least uh, when we got into July, but there have been uh, such changes um, that I've been moved to do a, another video. Uh, following on the heels of this very good report from Margot from yesterday, so I suggest that you uh, you watch that in conjunction with this. Uh, I'm not trying to kind of replicate what she's doing or to copy it, but just to look at things uh, through my own eye a little bit. So just a few pictures that have come. Uh, these have been provided by Zach Laid via Twitter. Uh, these are what um, um, milk ponds look like from the Sentinel uh, uh, satellite, so I'm not quite sure where, exactly where that is. Um, and this is another uh, view of, uh, of ice um, uh, breakup, and look at all of that, that blue, so one has to wonder uh, kind of what that is. Um, the ice in these views doesn't look white, so uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what that is, if that's a little bit of water that we're seeing through the ice or, 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 or what it is. And then finally um, there's this. This is the picture of the Lenar River uh, Delta, and uh, so this will be land uh, here and this is the uh, the coastline and what it's uh, looking like. So let's go on and just look at some of the uh, the climatic features and then I would like to look at some of the things like uh, sea and air temperatures. It's that it's very hard just from one data set to get a, a sense of what's happening. So I'm always interested in kind of how uh, warm it is at the pole and how that's likely to uh, reflect on uh, on the quality of ice. So this is the first clue. Um, this is uh, sea surface temperature anomalies. So you can see around the edges, obviously it's not measuring those areas where there is uh, uh, where there's ice, or at least not here. But you can get a clue here in the Beaufort Sea. It's four, between four to five degrees um, warmer than usual. And then there's an area here in uh, in northern Siberia and around here. It's a little bit. So you just got this cold area here uh, on the western side between Svalbard and Nova Zemlya, and then in sort of uh, kind of south of Svalbard it's it's warmer than than usual and then also on the western side of uh, Greenland where it's a little bit cooler uh, on the eastern side. Um, now these are the uh, the air temperatures that are given. Um, let's just go in a bit further. Um, so kind of, yeah, it's kind of, I mean, that's indicating kind of temperatures that are sort of zero and above. There's nothing really much that's below zero, uh, except for this area uh, kind of north of Norway, Zimlia, and northern Siberia. Um, and this area here is, 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 is really warm. So, and of course around the Bering Strait. Uh, now these are uh, temperature, air temperature anomalies. Uh, so you can see kind of because of the jet stream, presumably there's some areas that are really much warmer than usual. Alaska and kind of, uh, well, I suppose that's sort of central uh, Siberia, especially uh, inland. Uh, Siberia and then parts of eastern Greenland and in the Canadian archipelago. So this is an area where it's really melting away quite quickly. 
and um, this is precipitation. So, uh, yeah, snowing in some areas of Greenland, but look here, pretty close to the pole. Uh, this is actually uh, is rain, ice, along with uh, kind of sort of moderate kind of temperatures, ways of getting uh, temperatures. Uh, this is from uh, Earth Null School, and you can just air it in uh, in here, um, the um, air temperatures. So uh, what is roughly the, um, the North Pole, it's above zero, 0.4 degrees Celsius, um, 0.4. And um, then if we come down here by Svalbard, yeah, minus 0.1 at the moment. Uh, and then Norway uh, Zemlya, that's 3 degrees, 1.6, uh, slightly cooler here, 1 degree. And then on land, uh, you can see this is central Siberia in here and the temperatures are about 20 degrees Celsius uh, and when you get to the coast it's about 10 degrees. So all of this is uh, kind of absolutely, it's not a exactly. I'm trying to get some idea of what the temperatures, so I think the, the uh, Earth Null School gives a good idea of um, air temperatures now this is a way uh, that you can measure the, the temperature. So if you get um, here, so that's close to the pole, North Pole, it's about 271, 272. So that's somewhere between minus four and 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 and, and zero. So um, so that's getting uh, these are C sea temperatures so that's almost getting kind of at the point uh, of, of, of melting um, and then if you come around uh, here it's uh, around 272 so yeah it's very it's very hard I think it's about minus 1.15 or something uh, yeah so about minus one to plus one. Those would be fairly uh, reliable temperatures and a similar sort of thing about 271 uh, so that's about so sort of between zero and minus one. Um, so they're not uh, temperatures that are gonna suddenly melt everything but uh, I think it depends on what warmth is coming from uh, below. So and I presume that this is, yeah, this is the ice surface temperature. So uh, it gives us no idea of what's happening uh, beneath. So that gives another little clue. Take my own little view, uh, my own tour around uh, the edge of the Arctic Sea. Um, so I've got it here with ice surface temperatures. So that's where I can measure the temperatures from. Um, but it's also where I can find out where uh, there's no cloud. So, um, yeah, so this is, it's probably quite a good time for looking at northern Canada at least. So let's just get rid of that and we'll just go into here. So on the um, west side of Greenland, it's all uh, disappearing. right up here and then we get into the uh, the uh, Canadian archipelago right through here it's breaking up let's just uh, go so then and this is the area in here um, I don't know whether it's clear or not um, yeah it is so all of this is where in previous years all the uh, old ice, um, ice that was four meters thick, it was all pressed up against uh, Canada. That was the one last kind of remaining area. And as you can see, very, very close to the, um, to the uh, shore, 
this is all starting already uh, to break up and there are areas of blue there. Um, so that seems to indicate, well, it's probably uh, water beneath or something, so it's very close to melting. Um, if that was good, thick, healthy ice, I don't think it would be blue. So let's just go right around here. It's all breaking up. It's all breaking up. And it's only... We're still in our last um, kind of days of June. So this is all the archipelago here. And it's all... It's all blue. Let's just go in and just see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty broken up to me. So we'll follow on around. And here we are. I think this is coming into... Is this uh, Baffin Bay? I, I'm not so good with my uh, geography. Apparently, according to uh, Zach Laid, the melting in the in Baffin Bay is about average, but it's it's all going. And then, when we get into the Beaufort Sea, uh, I can't tell you where the where the uh, Mackenzie River comes out to sea, but it is this is what it looks like. So I'd love to know what the distances are. That's hundreds of kilometres out. Uh, and then on the shoreline, this is what it looks like. This may be where the Mackenzie's coming out because you've got this area um, that looks very much to me uh, like, uh, like residue. So, um, yeah, so I'm not sure about the latitude, so hoping... Uh, oh yeah, here we are. So that's 80 degrees um, north here. So that's getting kind of... Let's have a look. We'll bring that into the center there. And already at 80 degrees, almost 80 degrees, we're starting to get um, uh, ice melting. And it's only when you get in the final, eh, between 80 and 90 degrees north, um, that the ice kind of looks relatively normal. How much of that, of course, what uh, you've got to be able to determine what's cloud. So that's actually clear. So you're getting a, a reasonably good view of the ice. And see, even here, you can see cracks starting to appear. Okay, so let's go back to the coast. I can find it. Right. So that's the Beaufort. And of course, this whole area in here, it's under cloud. But essentially, the whole of the Bering Strait is, is, is gone. I mean, let's just see if we can find quickly another day. Uh, here we are. Look at that. So we'll... Take that off, and this is the Bering Sea, right around. It's the coast of Alaska, uh, Siberia. Uh, where are the Aleutians? The Aleutian Islands are here. So all of that has 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 gone, um, and then we get to northern Siberia, and lots of melting here. So, right around here, it's not looking terribly pretty all around here. Uh, I think it's a little bit early for all of this, and let's have a look here. So this is, uh, um, yeah, it would be nice to have some place names, but I don't. So it's all breaking up and uh, getting ready to, to melt very soon. And you come around here, so I've got to zoom out to see exactly kind of where we are. Um, this is the Yamal, uh, no, that's the Yamal Peninsula. I'm not quite sure 
anyway, it's kind of central central Siberia and there's a whole area. Maybe that's where one of the rivers, the Lena or somewhere like that, is coming out and uh, helping to melt the ice. So we get further around here. Yeah, and I'm not sure that's uh, what the latitude there is. Uh, I think that's the 80 degrees parallel. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's the 80 degrees parallel. So anything up to 80 degrees, it seems to be uh, already melting. And we're moving into cloud here. Um, let's just see where we oh, are. Yeah, now I know where we are. So let's just have a look. Uh, our favourites is always methane coming from about here, this area. This is Norway, Zimbabwe. That's the uh, Yamal Peninsula. Uh, so we'll just uh, go back and just see if we can identify, see what it's like more recent. So it's cloud, more cloud. Ah, uh, yeah, that's no data. So really, the, the latest day with good data was uh, uh, was this. So we can get, ah, oh, yeah, and of course, let's have a look. So it's all breaking up on the eastern side. Uh, the other side is under cloud, so you wouldn't really know. Um, Okay, and then we'll just finish off um, Okay, so that's probably about the best. That's several days ago. Um, it's on May 25th um, and this is around uh, uh, Svalbard And this is on the eastern side of Alaska. It's uh, well and truly melting and breaking up. So not much left. And down here you wouldn't really know uh, because we're well and truly into cloud. But I think that, that gives a, um, a reasonably uh, good idea of what's happening uh, to the ice to revisit it so quickly but I have um, and I hope to give my report in perhaps uh, two or three uh, weeks time so in the meantime from me this is Seymour Rocks uh, from Down Under